dear students how have you been going smooth yes so wishing you a very nice happy morning so today we can start from the previous knowledge prime and composite in a simple way we can define prime prime as numbers with only two factors with only two factors it's the prime prime number so the word factor factor means yes complete divisor of a number complete divisors of a number is it for example 12 the complete divisors of 12 1 2 3 4 6 12 is it how we get these numbers yes we should take the product forms product forms of 12 so the prime numbers numbers with two factor that is 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 etc is it it possess one and the number one and the particular number as factors so we can say composite number as numbers with more than two factors then why we should start from here now we are going to factorize a number i'll show you an example so you can easily attend the problems ready yes as you know to make the tree forms factorization tree like uh, 14 we can say that 14 is the product of 2 into 7 is it 2 into 7 this is a factorization tree well, next example 24 so 24 in, we can represent in different modes 24 2 into 12 2 into 12 then 3 into 8 4 into 6 is it 2 into 12, 3 into 8, 4 into 6. These all are product forms of 24. So if I take 2 into 12. 12 can be take as 3 into 4 or 2 into 6. Is it? Yes. So here I can take it as 2 into 6. Now 6 can be taken as. Two into three. Got it? Here we get two into twelve. Here two is a prime number. Twelve is a composite number. Is it? So further we take another product form of twelve. Here two is a prime. Six is a composite. So then we further divided. Further factorized. Two into three. Got it? So, from here we can say that all composite numbers are product of prime numbers. We can check. Here we get 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Check the product. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 8 threes are? Yes, 24. So, we represent that 24, the composite number in terms of primes. So, this is a factorization, three factorization method. So, these are small numbers. So, we can easily arrange using three factorization. So, for factorizing higher numbers, we need another method. So, we can check the method. Okay. The method is called the repeated division. So, we can use the 24. We know already 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. This is the prime numbers product form of 24. So, we can check together using repeated division. So, 
the repeated division means this is the process we can start from a prime number you should take the prime numbers as divisor so 2 okay 2 is a single digit so take the numbers as single digits 2 into same division rules how many times 2 goes in 2 how many times Yes, one time. Is it one time? As we do in the usual division. Two goes into? Yes, only one time. So one. The answer is two. Now we subtract and write four here. Now we check how many times? Go. Two goes in four. We know it's two times. Two twos are four. Yes. So, we get the quotient after completing the division. Is it? Here at this step, we get the quotient. Now, 2 into only one time. We write the quotient here. Then, 2 in 4. How many times? Yes, 2 times. Now, again, it's an even number. So, we can use 2. 2 in 1. It's not possible. So, 2 in 12. 12? Yes, 6 times. Then again, we can take 2. In 6, 2 goes? Yes, 3 times. Now, we can use the prime factor. Yes, 3. 1. So, this is the prime factorization. Using prime numbers as factor. So, it's called prime factors. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 8 threes are 24. So, we can find out the prime factors of every composite number using this method. We can check another number, 36. So, this is an even number. All even numbers can be divided, yes, with 2. So, Starting from 2. 2 in 3. How many times 2 goes in 3? Yes, only one time. Is it? 1, 2 are 2. 2, 2 are 4. So, only one time. We write the quotient. Is it? How many times? One time. So, one time 2 is 2. Is it? We have one reminder. When we divide 36 with 2. One time, it's two. We have the reminder one. Is it? So, here also we have the reminder. Then, the reminder should be taken with six. You can mark the reminder like this. Now, we can read it as 16. Is it? When we put the six here, we take 16. Same way, we can take 16. And 16, how many times to go? Yes, 8 times, is it? 8 times. Got it? So now it's again an even number. 2 goes 9 times, is it? Now it's an odd number. It's an odd number. We can use 3 because it's a multiple of 3. So 3 goes 3 times. Again 3. Okay, check up to we get 1 as the reminder. So, we can write 36 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. We can check 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 3, 4 into 3, yes, 12. 12 into 3, check 12 into 3. Yes, it is 36. So, the product form. Prime factors of 36. 2, 2, 3, 3. Got it? Yes. So, dear students, I think it's a simple task. Those who know the multiplication table very well can easily handle the prime factorization using repeated division. Is it? So, now here I am giving you some activities. So, complete the activities before tomorrow's DCS. 
We'll see at the DCS time to discuss more about this. Thank you.